Once upon a time, in the midst of the 20th century, humanity was confronted with an event so horrifying that it continues to cast a long dark shadow over the collective conscience of the world. This event, known as the Holocaust, stands as one of the most heinous crimes ever committed against humanity. It unfolded against the backdrop of World War II, led by the Nazi regime under the leadership of Adolf Hitler and it resulted in the systematic persecution and genocide of millions of innocent people. The rise of the Nazi regime. Our story begins in the early 1930s in Germany, a nation grappling with the aftermath of World War I. In these turbulent times, Adolf Hitler, a charismatic and fervent nationalist, ascended to power as the leader of the National Socialist German Workers' Party, commonly known as the Nazi Party. His extremist ideologies and promises of national rejuvenation resonated with a significant portion of the German population. In 1933, Hitler was appointed as Chancellor, consolidating his grip on the nation, which is anti-Semitic propaganda and laws. Under Hitler's leadership, the Nazi regime quickly implemented a series of anti-Semitic policies. Propaganda campaigns painted Jews as scapegoats for Germany's woes, and the regime introduced a series of laws that restricted the rights and freedoms of Jewish citizens. These laws marked the beginning of a systematic effort to marginalise and oppress the Jewish population. The Nuremberg Laws In 1935, the Nuremberg Laws were enacted, codifying racial segregation and defining who was considered a Jew. Jews were stripped of their German citizenship and civil rights, further isolating and stigmatizing them within society. Kristallnacht, the Night of Broken Glass, 1938. In November 1938, the Nazi regime orchestrated a coordinated attack on Jewish homes, businesses, and synagogues across Germany and Austria. This violent pogrom, known as Kristallnacht or the Night of Broken Glass, resulted in widespread destruction, violence, and the arrest of thousands of Jews. It signalled an ominous escalation of anti-Semitic actions. The ghettos. As the 1930s turned into the 1940s, the Nazi established ghettos in various European cities. These ghettos served as confinements for Jewish communities forcing residents to live in overcrowded, squalid conditions. Life within these ghettos was marked by starvation, disease, and relentless brutality. As the final solution, the dark plan unfolds. As World War II raged on, the Nazi regime conceived an even more sinister plan known as the Final Solution. This horrifying scheme was designed to systematically exterminate the Jewish people. It involved mass deportations to concentration and extermination camps. Concentration camps. Concentration camps were places of indescribable suffering. Inmates were subjected to forced labor, malnutrition, and brutal treatment. The most infamous of these camps was Auschwitz, where countless lives were lost in gas chambers and through inhumane medical experiments. Extermination camps. In parallel with the concentration camps, the Nazis established extermination camps that were designed solely for mass murder. These camps, such as Sobiba, Treblinka and Belzec, were equipped with gas chambers where victims were systematically exterminated. The horror of these places is difficult to comprehend. Resistance and liberation Despite the overwhelming odds against them, some inmates within the camps organised resistance movements Inmates like Jan Karski and Witold Pailicki managed to escape and spread the truth about the Holocaust to the outside world. As Allied forces advanced, they began to grasp the enormity of the tragedy. The liberation of concentration and extermination camps by Allied forces uncovered mass graves, emaciated survivors, and the undeniable evidence of genocide. The Nuremberg Trials in the aftermath of World War II, the international community held the Nuremberg Trials, a series of military tribunals to prosecute major Nazi war criminals. Many high-ranking Nazi officials faced justice for their role in the genocide. These trials aimed not only to bring perpetrators to account, 
but also to establish a legal precedent for addressing war crimes and crimes against humanity on an international scale. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights In the wake of the Holocaust and World War II, the United Nations adopted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in 1948. This historic document laid out fundamental human rights and freedoms that should be protected for all people, regardless of their background. Holocaust Remembrance The memory of the Holocaust is preserved through various memorials, museums and educational programs worldwide. Institutions such as Yad Vashem in Israel, the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum in Washington, D.C., and the Auschwitz-Birkenau State Museum in Poland play a crucial role in ensuring that the lessons of the Holocaust are never forgotten. Education and never again. The phrase never again emerged as a global commitment to preventing such atrocities from happening in the future. Education is a vital tool in raising awareness and understanding of the Holocaust, with schools, universities and organisations striving to teach the history and lessons of the Holocaust to future generations. Survivors' testimonies? The stories of Holocaust survivors are invaluable. Individuals like Ellie Wiesel, Primo Levi and Anne Frank have shared their personal accounts through books, diaries and testimonies. These accounts offer a first-hand perspective on the horrors endured and the indomitable spirit that allowed some to survive and bear witness. It's the rebuilding of Jewish communities. Following the Holocaust, Jewish communities worldwide faced the immense task of rebuilding their lives. Many survivors emigrated to different countries, while others chose to resettle in Israel, contributing to the establishment of the modern State of Israel in 1948. Lessons from the Holocaust The Holocaust has provided profound lessons for humanity. It reminds us of the dangers of intolerance, prejudice and hatred. It underscores the need to stand up against discrimination and persecution and to protect the rights and dignity of all individuals, regardless of their race, religion or background. Conclusion The Holocaust is a sombre chapter in human history that must never be forgotten. It serves as a stark reminder of the depths to which humanity can sink when hatred and prejudice go unchallenged. The world came together to say never again, acknowledging the collective responsibility to prevent such horrors from happening in the future. The memory of the Holocaust must endure, serving as a call to action for a more just, compassionate and inclusive world. The Holocaust remains a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and a solemn commitment to ensure that such atrocities are never repeated. In its dark history, we find the unwavering light of remembrance, education, and a collective pledge to safeguard the principles of humanity and justice.